Distinguished members of the Broadband Commission and ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, it's an honor to be here with you again today as special envoy to the ITUs for women and girls in, in ICTs. I'm very grateful to all of you and uh, especially to Dr. Toure for his support of my proposal to launch the working group on gender and for his ongoing commitment to this critical issue. And I'm very pleased to have partnered with Helen Clark and uh, Thank you very much for that excellent report. And I've been so inspired by the passion, dedication, and multi-stakeholder participation of the group, many of whom are here today, in identifying opportunities and solutions to advocate for more women in ICTs and for the empowering potential of technology to change women's lives everywhere. <clears throat> in my role as special envoy, I've traveled extensively around the globe to raise the profile of this issue and reinforce the need to encourage girls and women to participate and pursue careers in ICTs. And what I've learned is that the greatest job growth will be in the area of engineering. There's an enormous global shortage of engineering and big data talent to meet industry needs now and in the future, and attracting more women uh, is critical to solving this problem. So why do we have such a growing widespread problem? Overall, we are not producing enough students with the right skills. Engineering enrollment in the United States has remained flat for the last 20 years, despite major industry changes. While technology has radically evolved, interest levels have not. And this is particularly true for women. Just 18% of engineering degrees are awarded to women. 10% of practicing engineers are female, and 3% of technology company CEOs are women. Again, why? The perception is that engineering is considered a man's uh, occupation. And we certainly see from our research at the Gina Davis Institute on Gender and Media that the media does not portray women engineers or computer scientists practically at all. Um, here's something interesting, an interesting exception we found, however, in the United States on television, uh, women forensic scientists are so well represented uh, because of the various CSI uh, shows that uh, we actually need work no further to have uh, female forensic scientists represented. And in fact, uh, forensic science degrees have risen by 75%. So uh, at least we have that covered. Uh, <laughs> we also see an ongoing problem uh, retaining women once they are in engineering. Women drop out of engineering at record rates due to isolation and lack of opportunity. Nearly 50% of women who actually decide to enter engineering, which is, and they are a tiny fraction, actually end up working in the field over time. And that is why engineers top the list for the most difficult jobs to fill globally. But I have some good news to report to you today. I'm pleased to announce, in partnership with Dr. Toure and ITU, a newly formed university that will tackle this skills gap by working directly with growth, growing industries and incorporating hiring needs into its programs. It will create a pipeline of qualified engineering graduates. It's called the New Engineering University, or NEU. NEU is launching its first program in the United States in early 2014 to meet big data demand across the country, where it's forecasted that 1.5 million managers and analysts will be needed. Perhaps most pertinent to this group is that NEU will launch globally in 2015 in order to address the global need for more engineers and more women in ICTs in the world. <clears throat> the NEU, pro NEU program is one year in length, designed either for unemployed or underemployed professionals. Students will earn masters in engineering in big data. By partnering with global companies, NEU will create a pipeline of qualified graduates to meet employment needs. Increasing enrollment of women in the US by 25% would bring an additional 5,000 engineers per year alone. Dr. Toure and I will be making our public launch with NEU tomorrow at the New York Maker Fair, an event at the New York Hall of Science that attracts nearly 100,000 attendees. 
and I am also very excited to report that my institute will be offering five full scholarships worth $20,000 each to qualified women who will earn a Master of Engineering in Big Data degree. As well, the ITU will be offering scholarships to international students. This opportunity will allow more women to pursue STEM careers and provide them with the skills to have endless possibilities and opportunities that would not otherwise have been accessible to them. I'm not able to reveal all of the uh, details to you today. However, if this uh, initiative resonates with you, if it affects your company or local industry, uh, please approach me during our lunch break as we would love to partner with you. Thank you very much.